Hey, good morning, guys. Um, I am coming to you from the front room this morning because apparently the construction guys are busy working extra early this morning. So uh, today, this was the quietest spot that I could find to read to you this morning. Now, the cool thing about ladybugs is the larva, the pupa, after it hatches from the egg looks nothing like a full grown ladybug. And today, guys, we are going to dive into some other insects as well that have babies that look completely different than their adult stage. And so that metamorphosis, that many changes that many changes in their uh, in their life cycle so today guys i am going to show you bug babies now these bug babies are notorious that means that they are very well known for not looking like they do when they are an adult that means that they go through those many changes in their life cycle to go from an egg to their final adult stage. And we can already tell from the front cover that this book is what? This book is definitely full of photographs. So that means that this is going to be an informational text and it's going to be non-fiction real. Now I'm going to look at the front cover and already I'm seeing some little squiggly things and I bet you could tell what those squiggly things are. They look kind of like caterpillars, don't they? So maybe we're going to see a butterfly life cycle in here. Let's see if we can have any other information from the back cover doing a book walk. Hmm, oh man, I recognize that caterpillar. I believe that that's a caterpillar of a monarch. I may be wrong, but I'm not quite for sure. So let's look on the title page because we know that we can look on the title page and guess what? It doesn't have any photographs, so we can't get any additional information except for the fact that this book is about bug babies. Now, here we go. This book is going to have an author but no illustrator. Why no illustrator? Yeah, because it has photographs instead of illustrations. There's no drawings in this book. I bet that they have labeled the pictures though and have captions because we know that informational text definitely has those things. So here we go, comparing bugs, bug babies. And this is written by Charlotte Gillian. And she is the author. She's the one who composed all of the facts that we're about to read. Roxy's excited. Here we go. Oh man. Tell me, what is this? What is this? What is it, Roxy? Oh man. She doesn't know. It's the table of contents. Remember when we have informational text, it has a table of contents so that we can tell if I just want to look at caring for bug babies, then I know that I can look at page 210's 20 in order to find that chapter. But we're just going to start at the beginning. Are you ready, Roxy? Mm hmm she's ready. Here we go. Meet the bugs. There are many different kinds of bugs. There are many different types of baby bugs. Oh man, look at that beetle that looks like a centipede or a millip, I think it's a centipede. Ugh. All of those exoskeletons, remember an exoskeleton is on the outside of the body. The, oh wait a minute, the exoskeleton goes on the outside giving that bug its crunch because it doesn't have any inside bones. We have a endoskeleton, which means that our skeleton is on the inside, keeping our body nice and straight. Some bugs lay eggs. Butterflies lay eggs on leaves. And just like good 
authors do, they have labeled their pictures so that way we know exactly what we are looking at. Look at the different kinds of eggs. That does not look like the kind of egg that I am going to be making for breakfast. Ooh, those look teeny tiny. <gasps> Do you know what I just noticed? Look at this picture very carefully. Do you see? Oh my goodness. The mama, whatever that is. Oh my goodness, it looks like a centipede of some sort. It has wrapped its body around the eggs. Oh my goodness, that is super creepy, but so cool. What a good mama. Mosquitoes lay eggs in water. Flies lay eggs on food. Ooh, that's why you never want to let a fly lay or land on your food. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, they do such amazing things. Look at all those little eggs. That is, that is crazy. That is pretty awesome though. Some spiders put a silk case around their eggs. Some spiders hang their eggs from a silk thread. Now guys, I, I have to say that looks really pretty. All right, like I'm, I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of this one. All right, no, no offense against this other little spider, but that one, Look how, look how amazing, like those little bitty creatures lay and take care of their eggs in such crazy awesome ways. Bug babies. Many young bugs hatch from eggs. Many young bugs look like adult bugs. So now these are called an adult wood louse and these are the young wood louse. So they look like their parent when they hatch. So they do not have to go through a metamorphosis, the many changes. They look exactly like their parent as soon as they hatch. But some of them, as we know, like the caterpillar and now the ladybug, they definitely go through many changes. Ooh, I think that those kind of look like the roly polies that I find outside. Young centipedes look like adult centipedes, only they don't have the same color. So, oh gracious, young spiders look like adult spiders. So here we go. I'm going to show you these pictures up close because do you, do you see that? Do you see that? Look at that. That's the adult centipede and those are the baby centipedes. All they need to do is change color. And then look, there's a spider. The adult spider looks like the baby spider. Huh, that is so cool. They don't have to go through those stages. Now, this is where I want you to pay really close attention because this is all about the ladybugs. Some, oh sorry, changing bugs. Some young bugs do not look like adult bugs. Some bugs hatch into Larva. Now a larva is the very first stage after it pops out of the egg. So here is on our ladybugs, so we're looking at ladybugs this week, here is the larva stage and you will see that it looks nothing like an adult ladybug. It has to start out like this first and guess what it does? munches and crunches and munches and crunches and then it will shed its skin and it will change and it will change into a ladybug. Now these are larva. I'm not quite for sure what kind of larva these are, but these are a larva of some sort of insect or bug. Hmm. Maybe it'll show us what kind they are. I don't know. A caterpillar is a type of larva. A caterpillar grows and changes into a butterfly. We knew that butterfly life cycle. It starts out as an egg and then it grows into, and then it pops out and is the larva or the caterpillar stage. Then it goes into the pupa or the chrysalis. And then it pops out and out pops a beautiful butterfly. It's the same kind of life cycle for a ladybug. 
So on the ladybug, let me go back to this. So a ladybug will lay its eggs and out pops a larva. And that is going to be what that little black larva is right there. And it changes. And then as it gets bigger, it'll form into the pupa and it starts to change color as well. And then it will start forming its ladybug body. Caring for bug babies, because guess what? They're living creatures. They need food, water, and a home, a habitat, a shelter. Some insects take care of their larva. That means that these worker bees are busy caring, caring for the larva that's inside of their honeycomb. And if you look really closely, you can see those little larvae inside of the inside of the honeycomb. And just like a metamorphosis, it has many stages too. It starts out, a bee starts out as like this worm looking thing, and then it changes over time. Wolf spiders carry their young on their backs. It's kind of like a piggyback ride. A mama or a daddy spider has all those piggyback rides for their little babies. Look how big some of the bugs in this book can be. Now these are real true to size. That means that the, um, that the author made sure that you could see how big or how small some bugs are. Now this, I would gather, is a tarantula. That is a really big spider. Now look how small a ladybug is compared to a tarantula, a spider. This one down here, a mosquito. Now in Arizona, we get a lot of mosquitoes around here, so definitely make sure and keep yourself safe. And look how big, which two are similar in size? Definitely the ladybug and mosquito because that spider is big compared to that. So, sweet loves, I hope that you enjoyed bug babies today. Now, starting in your academic instruction, you will continue on with your ladybug uh, exploration. And so thank you for coming and seeing all about bug babies today. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, dear ones.